hello everyone actually this should have been my first video and i don't know what i was thinking when i put out the, this video earlier today i posted it on a youtube channel about kiss cut i should have started with this one and then just went straight on to the kiss cut but all right it's just been so busy to me i don't think straight so let's get this is for the person who asked can i do a video on how to make stickers so this is the image that I use for the video I posted. So I'm go ahead and take the transparent background out because I won't be able to cut it out unless that is gone. So I click on the image, go over here to the trace area button here, click trace, select, go over. And now I'm getting ready to go to the threshold and just bring that yellow up a little bit. Trace and detach. Move our over. Move my granddaughter's signature over. And drag the arrow and delete by clicking on delete on my keyboard. Now I'm getting ready to group all this together. Make sure you have your registration marks on because you're doing a print and cut. Now I'm getting ready to add the offset. So I'm going to go over here to the star, make sure my image is checked in order to activate the offset button. Click on offset. And this one is 0.125 far as the distance from the image out. You can make it smaller. That's up to you. You can use this arrow to, uh, and push it to the right. Or you can just type in 0 0.100. 0 0.100 will be a decent size I would just go that small I won't go smaller than 0 0.100 but this is fine for me so then I hit apply and now it groups everything together but before I go ahead and print or do anything else I want to go to sin for right now and we're not getting ready to cut anything now I just want to see what the cut lines look like now right now it's saying that it's going to cut out the image it's going to cut out her signature and it's going to cut out the offset I just wanted to cut around the offset, leaving, leaving that white border along with the image and her signature. So I'm going to click on the image and do no cut for the image and her signature because they are uh, grouped together. So they're going to uncheck, be no cut together because they, uh, in the beginning, I did a, a group. So now it's just the offset going to be cut out and that's what I want. So I go back to design. And I'm going to group all it together now again so now the offset is grouped with the rest of the image so now I want to just I want to just size it down so up here at the top where you see the W for width and the H for height I'm just and I'm this lock right here you want to keep if it's unlock lock it just click on it it'll unlock click on again it'll lock so I'm going to just hold my left button down next to these numbers and drag it to the right i'm gonna type in the size i want is 2.5 oh just just two and a half click enter on my keyboard and now it's sized down i don't too much worry about the width it's going to adjust when i do the height so now i have one so now what i can do is i can go up to object replicate and i can fill the whole page or I can just put it in one by one. But I don't want this to be this way because I think I can get more going this way. And what I'm going to do is just bring this up here like that. And I'm just going to, I'm just moving them around. Like I said, or oh, you can just put it, copy and paste and do it one at a time or you can do four and this sometimes i do it like this too i'm gonna get rid of all these sometimes i would just put do four and i'm gonna bring this over some i don't want them to be too much over there and bring it up bring you over and up okay and move you over just a little bit Okay, I will drag my arrow over it, right click, copy, and do control V, 
on your desktop, I mean on your computer, regular computer like this, or on your Mac. If you have a Mac, you could do Command V and it will just keep adding. And I'll do Control V again, bring four more down. And I want to make sure I bring these up because I think I can get at least four rows like I did before. And you can bring it as close as you want, but you don't want it touching. Control V or Command V on a Mac. And I got one, two, three, four rows on here. And that's how I make my stickers. Now I'm going to go back to sin just to check to make sure that the red lines are around the offset and I'm good to go. I'm going to click on it and I always do cut. I don't do cut edge. A lot of people do cut edge. It's just for some reason when I do cut edge, I get jagged. I, so I just keep it at, at cut. So now I can go ahead and go to file, print. And if you have glossy paper, you go to preferences and you paper type. I usually do glossy inkjet paper and I do best and then I click OK and then I click apply and it depends on whatever uh, printer you have too. So this is I have a HP so this is how my HP preference look yours may be a, a little bit different so I can't tell you how yours may work for you but this is how uh, mine's work for me. But I'm not getting ready to print this because I already print some up for her. Uh, she might be giving me some more images that she made, that she uh, created. So I'm not going to do a whole bunch of these. Because this, this one were actually for Christmas. So I'm giving this to her. So, and then you just go ahead and print. And then after you print, you put, you put it on your paper. I mean on your mat, sorry. Load it into your silhouette. And then you go over here to send. And if you watch the first video before this one I showed you how to create your own material for that even though this is uh, adhesive sticker paper I'm not using that um, type of material or setting that Silhouette has they have printer sticker paper in here right here it's Sticker paper white. I'm not using it. I created my own because I wanted to just do a kiss cut. That's it. A kiss cut. And here's my kiss cut right there. It's under user defined. That's where you can put your own uh, settings in there that you want. And it's already set to what I want it to be. Two, four, one, and one. And I close that out. And I'm ready to just send it. And it will do a kiss cut where I don't have to have all these different stickers you know off the page it just stays on the page you just go and peel it off like like a stamp or something you know how stamps be on one sheet you just peel it off and you have all the rest of the stamps on the sheet this is what i wanted and this is why i created the uh kiss cut settings for this particular uh project i'm doing for stickers and i will always do it like this so i hope this helps uh, if you have any more questions, let me know. Have a great night and God bless you and see you in my next video. Bye.